Nice job on this. Thank I'm you proud very of much, you. It's really nice work. Appreciate Fine it. Fine work. Yeah, my father was a survivor on uh, Pacific's fleet, sunk in two ships, survived in the water twice, third one made it. Oh, maybe And uh, he has a special, I don't know how to say this, but he has a special bond, you know, every year they have the reunion. Mm. There's a special bond between these guys mm. that did this and worked in this and, and fought in the Pacific fleet that is unique. Mm. And, and I would imagine after working on the film that you kind of understand that. Mm. Do you feel that way? Absolutely. Um, and more so from spending time with the men before going uh, to uh, uh, Guadalcanal and uh, um, talking with them and watching them interact with one another and, um, and then being there. I remember one day uh, a gentleman, two gentlemen walked up to us and they were, uh, had fought in the war and um, one of them walked up and he turned away and I could hear him whimper and, he, and I said, he goes, I'm sorry for my friend. I said, you don't have to apologize. He goes, no, you don't understand. You're us. You, you, you look like us, um, and uh, the, uh, what I, I enjoyed a lot was the fact that they were willing to uh, open up and talk to us about the war, tell us about, um, I remember one such man told me, well, there's a big difference between taking someone's life from a weapon and actually taking someone's life with your own hand, mm -hmm. kinesthetically feeling their life leave their body and um, a sacrifice part of their soul that they'll never be able to get, you know, it'll always be with them for the rest of their life. Um, I think you reach a, we have so many inhibitions in our, our country, as we should, to some degree we should, um, but which you, when you go there, um, there is a, to tell someone you love them is very easy to do because one left, step left or step right, you know, a bullet is, doesn't discriminate. They'll take you and you're gone. Mm. Um, the, uh, one of the other men was talking to me about how you could feel, he always said when, when, when or he would say when, when the uh, battleships were firing off um, the shells and they would land in and the ground would shake. Uh, he said, if you're, there's no atheists in a fo foxhole, he says you can feel the difference between uh, um, soul and body. The actual flesh. He's a lot different than going out and working out and feeling good or falling in love or feeling those feelings, but actually feel the ground shakes so hard that you can literally, everything slows down. He says if you open your mouth, it's almost like your soul may leave your body, reflux out of you. Um, wow. That uh, was great descriptions and they went there for us. Acting is kind of a, a humbling experience mm. sometimes. It in, is. In the middle of enormous, expensive chaos Yeah. to get to the moment. Right. Do you feel in the moment in this film? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Terry Malick, I attribute a lot of that to him. He created a, 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 a chaos environment, controlled chaos, um, what John Cusack would mm. say, controlled chaos environment. Um, that allowed those moments to happen. In other films, you may hear like, "Oh, that was a great moment in that film," but in this, it was, it was, it was not a shame we had to cut all those moments out. Was, we shot a million and a half foot of feet of film, and we expected moments after moments after moments. We didn't know exactly where it was going to go. And um, Terry uh, would maybe he's got a camera over here, and at a split second, there's a there's lightning flashing over here. We got to get that lightning flash flashing over here, we need to change the scene around, excuse me, and, and uh, get these extras in here instead, or, and uh, nuke that scene and, 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 and start with something totally uh, 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 different than what he expected the day to go with. Um, um, he would go with nature. I remember one time uh, we were filming and uh, Terry heard this bird, and he knows every bird there is, and we stopped for about 15 minutes, walked over and watched that bird. And, uh, you know, uh, Terry would say something like, you know, that, that bird uh, uh, chirps about uh, one time uh, every uh, hour, so uh, 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 see camera, come on over here. Put, put the camera on and just go ahead and let it run and, until that thing chirps. So he's fantastic like that. And that's probably why we shot a million and a half feet of film. Got a lot of birds. <laughs> a lot of birds on the floor of this film, too. Thank you very nice much. Nice to see you, Jim. Nice work.